How's going on everybody and welcome to part 3 of creating chatbot from scratch and today in this video we are going to finalize the part of pre-processing the text and without further ado let's get into the video. Alright so till now we have created our vocabulary and inverse vocabulary and our list of questions and list of answers. Now if you don't know how to do these all, make sure you watch the previous two parts and then you are ready to follow this part 3. Alright, so now uh, we have to convert this list of questions and list of answers to um, integer values. Now why integer values? Actually the neural network or machine learning algorithms can't handle the string data. So we have to convert them to numerical values, either float values or either um, integer values. So how do we do that? So we will be using this vocabulary and we will be checking that if, if that word is available in this vocabulary, then assign that particular value, uh, assign that particular value of that particular key. Now, if it it is not available in this vocabulary, then we will assign the out keyword. Again, if you don't know how to create this inverse and uh, inverse vocabulary and vocabulary and this list of clean question and answer, make sure you watch the previous two parts. All right. So without wasting time, I I'll be copying the code and pasting it right here so that it won't take too long to write the code. Now here is our encoder input. Uh, what is encoder input? This is something which we're gonna pass to the uh, our encoder and then we'll be creating decoder input which will be something which will be the output which will be used to calculate the output. So encoder input will be the question, decoder input will be the answers. So what we are doing, we are saying for line in clean questions. So these are our clean questions. So what we are saying, we will be iterating in the list of clean questions. And then in that we will split that uh, particular element or particular value of that list. And then we will iterate through each and every word and it is written right here so we are saying if line uh for line in clean questions then we have created a list we will see uh, what this list is doing then we are iterating in that list in that particular list by using word dot split then we are checking if the word is in vocabulary i have already explained why we are checking if the word is in vocabulary now uh vocabulary is the uh dictionary of all the words contained in questions and contained in answers so why we are checking if that word is available in that so remember in the previous part uh, we have applied a threshold means uh, minimum amount of minimum amount of time that word has occurred in in the list of question and answers so if the word has value less than four then it will not be considered in the vocabulary and in place of that we, we have applied out keyword. So for that purpose we are checking if that, if that word is available in vocabulary we will uh, so if that word is not in vocabulary we will append out keyword. If that word is available then we will append the value corresponding to that word as a key. Then fine okay so we are appending that to a list. Uh, so finally we will append this to the main encoder input list again we are iterating in, in in this list one by one then we are iterating in this list and we are appending to this lst converted integer values then appending whole list to this encoder input let's see how does it looks like by running it up all right so we have our uh, encoder input and here you can see uh, let me maximize this a little bit as you can see that now this is converted to the integer values and uh, that is something which is required our required by our neural network model now we will do same thing for um, questions also which will be our decoder input that is a ditto copy of that just we have rem we have changed clean answers and uh, new will be decoder input list let's run this up and we have our decoder input and it would be similar to that all right 
now we have our um, finally encoder and in encoder and decoder input which are ready to transfer to our neural network but wait a minute um, let me show you okay so as you could see that uh, over here it its length is one over here is two and here is three then again two now it's not um, it's not um, ideal for transferring to our neural network so what we have to do we have to uh, pad the we have to pad the encoder input and decoder input with maximum length of 13 you could choose any length you want so we are importing pad sequences from keras.preprocessing.sequence and we are using pad sequence and in that we will transfer the encoder input and this is the max length which we want then we did padding and then truncating equals to post so uh, let me explain you what does that all mean let's consider this one so what we are saying that uh, truncate first 13 elements if there are less than 13 apply 0 in the post in the after of that so that means all that padding equals to post it will add 0 and trunc truncating equals to post means uh, sp we um, split the list from first 13 elements so let's run this and now we would have our uh, it will take some time to run all right so finally we have our fixed length all of uh, 13 let me show you all of length of 13 starting from 0 to 12 and we have fixed length and uh, 0 means padding and if you could see in our vocabulary and the 0 will be pointed to padding value all right so now we have to do one more step and that is finally final step i promise you now what do we want uh basically we have our encoder which we transfer our question and it outputs the context of that question and it is transmitted to our decoder as input with the this decoder input and this outputs a uh, one time step further to this decoder input let me show you what does that mean so this is our start of string token now what we will be doing uh, we have passed our question to our encoder as input and it transmitted uh, context of that uh, particular question now what uh, decoder model will do it will expect this first timestamp it will input this plus the context came from encoder input and it will predict next word so we have to um, remove this first column and transmit this uh, whole thing to this zero index so let's run this and let's see what does that mean so here are our decoder final output and this is one time stamp further than our decoder input and at the last we have appended zero as padding now we have our final data um, variables which are ready to transfer to our model now this is it for the pre-processing part and in the next video we will build our sequence to sequence model but before uh, we will be using um, embedding layer i will explain you what is embedding and how to use glove 60 uh, i guess 50 dimension 6b 50 dimension so this is it if you have any queries and feel free to ask them in down comment section and if you have big query then go to a discord server ask right there by sharing the image so that i can help you much better so this is it see you in the next video